Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel, where today we're going to be focusing on the fascinating world of mathematics. Now, we're about to unlock the secret behind making numbers reveal their hidden patterns. Today, we're diving into the fundamental concept, factorizing. So buckle up, because we're about to demystify this math magic in a way that's not just simple, but incredibly interactive and engaging. So get ready to unleash your inner math wizard. So what is factorizing? Well, factorizing is the inverse of expanding brackets. Now let's draw a function machine to demonstrate this. Let's take three and then brackets m plus four, and then we expand this. And as we know, we use our FOIL method, which will give us 3m plus 12. So the function machine multiplies everything in the bracket by three. However, now if I reverse this, and that is to factorize, the function machine does the opposite of what we did when we're expanding the bracket machine. And how is that done? Well, we have to get back to the position of having 3m plus 12. But how do we do that? Well, to factorize, we need to look for a number which is a factor of both 3 and 12. That is why it is called factorizing. Now, we know that 3 is a factor of both 3 and 12, so 3 will go in front of the bracket. We then divide 3m by 3, hence the 3 and the m split up, and we divide 12 by 3, and so m plus 4. And that there is factorizing fully. And it's important to find the highest common factor of these terms as well. Now, in today's video, we have a series of questions that we will be diving into. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Starting off with A, 4x plus 6. So once again, we need the highest common factor here. And what's that going to be? So in short terms, we need a number that goes into 4 and 6, but this should be the highest number possible. And that is going to be 2. So we now know 2 multiplied by something will give us 4x. So again, that would be 2x. And 2 multiplied by something will give us 6, and that is a positive 3. So now we've gone ahead and factorized that. Okay, let's move into question B. 15x plus 20. Once again, the highest number that goes both into 15 and 20, we know is going to be 5, bracket open, and we know that's going to be 3x plus 4. And that's because 5 times 3x is 15x, and 5 times 4 is 20, and there we are. Okay, moving over to C, 9y minus 12. So once again, we know one number that goes into 9 and 12 is a 3. We have our brackets in place. So three times something will give us nine y. We know that's three y. And something multiplied by three gives us minus 12. Well, you know a positive and negative gives us a negative. So we'll put that there. And we know three times four is 12. And there we have it. So I hope you can see how we're factorizing these expressions here. We're finding the highest common multiple. And then we're using that to find the rest of the expression. Don't forget to pause the video at any given time, attempt the question, and then press play when you're ready to go. With that being said, let's move on to part D. So once again, we know that the common multiple between 5 and 15 is going to be 5, and we know it's going to be x plus 3. And likewise for E, what goes into 6 and 3? Well, we know it's 3 times 2x gives us 6x minus 1, because 3 times minus 1 is minus 3. And now again for 4, what two numbers go into 4 and 8? Well, we know that's going to be 4. And we know 4 times x is 4x, and 4 times 2 is 8, and there we are. And then moving to g. Once again, we can see 5 is the highest common multiple. 5 times y is 5y, and 5 times minus y is minus 25. Okay, let's go for h. Again, what's common between 8 and 24? Well, the highest is going to be 8, multiplied by w, and multiplied by 3, and we get 20. Now, you're doing really well by coming this far. 
Don't forget, we're looking for the highest common multiple, and that is what goes at the beginning of your expression. So once again, if we take a look at i, we know the highest common multiple between 10 and 15 is going to be 5, and 5 times 2y is 10y, and 5 times 3 is 15. Moving over to j, we have 7, and we can see we have 2w plus 3. And I hope you're now getting a hang of this, seeing, okay, what's the largest number that can go into any of these numbers? Well, why don't we take that approach? So the largest number that goes into 20 and 30, we know that's going to be 10. Well, the largest number that goes into 27 and 18, we know that's going to be 9. And the largest number that goes into 6 and 4, well, we know that's going to be 2. And now by doing this, you can almost multiply these numbers by something that would then give you both the numbers that you see in front of you. Starting with k, we have 10 times 2, which is 20, and then you add the y, and 10 times minus 3. And then likewise for l, we have 9 times 3x plus 2. And moving to m, we have 3 minus 2x. And I'm just going to pause there for a second. I'm now going to give you the chance to showcase your, your mental prowess. And so pause the video, attempt all of these questions, and then follow the countdown to zero, where you will then be shown all of the questions. Are you ready? Okay, here we are. These are all the answers to the questions that we have just focused on. So go ahead and start marking them. I hope you've had a quick introduction into factorizing these expressions. Remember, if we were to summarize what we did today, we wrote the expression and worked at the highest common numerical factor. We then factorized the highest common factor outside the brackets by dividing out each term. And then we can also take one step further to multiply out the brackets to check that you successfully obtained the original expression. And there you have it, the incredible power of factorizing in mathematics. We've journeyed through the art of breaking numbers down into their building blocks, and it's been a blast. Remember, math is all about understanding, and you've just taken a fantastic step in that direction. So keep exploring, keep learning, and keep those math gears turning. Until next time, happy factorizing team.